Para sa mga nagtatanong kung ano yung pinakamagandang browser na pwede niyong gamitin kapag gusto niyong i-access or gusto niyong mag-login sa SSS account niyo online or sa internet, itatry natin ngayon na i-access ang aking personal account gamit ang Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox at ang Google Chrome. So, ang una nating itatry ay ang Internet Explorer at magla-login lang ako. I suggest na kung gusto nyong i-access ang SSS account nyo, try nyong i-access during weekends or sa gabi, kahit weekdays, kasi mas konti yung nagtatry mag-access ng SSS website. Okay, so nakalagin na ako sa SSS, uh, try ko lang i-check yung aking contributions. So I go to e-services and then inquiry, click ko lang to, and then I go to member info. And under that, click ko yung actual premiums. Ayan, so nakikita ko na lahat ng aking SSS contributions. At ito ay mula nung mag-start akong magbayad or mag-contribute sa SSS. So, okay naman siya. Mukhang wala namang problema sa records na nakikita ko. Um, going back to the performance uh, sa paglo-load ng SSS website at ng aking contribution, sobrang bilis using Internet Explorer. So, try naman natin ngayon i-access yung SSS account ko with or using Mozilla Firefox. So, ito yung SSS website at kung makikita nyo, mayroon ditong advisory na nakalagay for optimal viewing and functionality. The SSS website requires Internet Explorer version 11. So, parang nire-require or um, nire-recommend pa rin nila na gumamit ng Internet Explorer para mas maganda yung navigation. Kaya kanina, yun yung una natin ginamit. Pero try pa rin natin na gamitin yung Mozilla Firefox. At tingnan natin kung ma-access din natin yung SSS contributions ko using this browser. So, click ko lang tong OK. Okay, so login lang ako. Real-time din to. So, mabilis din naman siya. So, try ko din pumunta ng e-services and inquiry. And it says here, you are using an unsupported browser. Try natin i-click to. And then, click natin tong lock icon sa address bar or URL. Then, click this. Then, let's click disable protection for now. I'm going to click OK. So, ayan, nag-load naman siya ng maayos pero medyo may additional na steps pa. And then, I'm going to member info, actual premiums, and there you go. So, na-access ko din ng maayos yung aking SSS contribution. Okay, so, try naman natin ngayon yung Google Chrome at tingnan natin kung ganun din yung kanyang process. So, just like Mozilla Firefox, pagka-open ko ng SSS.gov.ph, lumabas din tong advisory na for optimal viewing and functionality, the SSS website requires Internet Explorer. So, click lang din natin to. At maglalagin lang ako. So, real-time din to at meron ding advisory. So, same advisory came up on the screen. At tatry kong pumunta ulit ng e-services, inquiry, and click OK again. Sa Mozilla, ang ginawa natin ay kinlik lang natin tong uh, lock icon. Tapos may option na doon to disable protection for now. Sa Google Chrome, ang ikiklik natin ay itong shield icon na may X. So, pag kinlik natin yan, click natin yung load unsafe scripts. Then, let's click OK. And now, let's try to click Member Info and Actual Premiums. Ayan, so nakikita ko na ang aking SSS contributions. At same lang naman yung data niya doon sa IE uh, or sa Internet Explorer as sa Mozilla Firefox. So basically, ang pinagkaibahan lang talaga is yung loading time. So, mas mabilis mag-load ng SSS website at mag-check ng SSS contributions with Internet Explorer kasi yun talaga yung supported na browser ng site na to. So, with Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox, okay din naman na lo-load din or na-open din ang SSS website. 
at makikita mo rin ang inyong SSS contribution. Yun nga lang, may additional steps sa Mozilla Firefox at sa Google Chrome. Di kagaya ng uh, Internet Explorer na diretsyo na siya na a-access or mapupunta ka na doon sa um, SSS contributions mo. But basically, okay naman silang tatlo. So kung gusto nyo lang ng mas mabilis, then gamitin nyo na lang yung Internet Explorer kung yun ang meron kayo sa device nyo or sa computer or sa tablet or kung ano mang um, ginagamit nyo to access the internet. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions, please feel free to post your comments down below and I will also give you some links at the description box so check it out. Just do me a quick favor, please like this video and subscribe to my channel and please visit my blogs at pinayinvestor.com to send money to Philippines and thepinayinvestor.com. Thank you!